you said in, in the past and even in recent weeks that like a certain mindset has gotten you to this point um, since you were 15 and Saginaw has gotten you from when you were in the second round pick. Um, what's the journey been like knowing that that's been your mindset and then finding out that's not sustainable at this point in your life and then trying to figure out another way in real time? I don't think it's not sustainable. Um, you know, you don't make it to this point if it wasn't sustainable. Um, but, like, let's face it, like, antics. Antics isn't something that got me here. And so when I look back on these situations, it's like, can you remove the antics? I'm very confident I can remove the antics. And I'm very confident if I do remove the antics, no one's worried about how I play the game of basketball. You know, nobody's worried about um, how I carry myself in the game of basketball, but it's the antics. And um, so that's my focus. You know, it's not on changing who I am completely. Like, you don't change the spots on a leopard. Like, it's just not going to happen, and I'm not going to try to set some unrealistic expectation of, like, who's this person going to be? Like, it's not real, and that's not sustainable. Um, I've always said before, I, I, could, I know how to be me a lot better than I can be anyone else. But in saying that, can I accept the fact that my, my antics has been over the top? Of course. Can I remove those? Am I capable of removing those? Of course. And I think with, without that, then I don't think there is much of an issue. But it's the antics that can go. And, and um, I've made a commitment to do things to make sure that those don't creep in.